What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. As you can tell by the thumbnail, the title, we're gonna be headed to Minnesota, a state that I've never fished in a bucketless lake on top of that. Before we get into like the whole nine yards, I quickly wanna say that this whole series is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that has fishing and hunting apparel, including saltwater as well. They're coming out with so much more stuff, guys. They are growing literally by the day. They're getting big. They are a truly an amazing company that I wouldn't be able to do this for a full-time job without them. They truly have made a dream come true for me. So they are sending me to Minnesota to fish in an ice castle for three days, two nights. I'm bringing my buddy Trevor. He's back there. He's actually tying a tip up right now. Getting all, We have literally so much stuff, but a lot of it's out in the garage. So I'll kind of show you that once we get into the actual vlog. But guys, I'm telling you, just go over to followtheaction.com, check out their designs. All of my merch will be also available on followtheaction.com in my own McGrath Fishing tab, I believe. Sometime in February or early March, we're coming out with a bunch of new stuff. So go over to followtheaction.com. If you guys do want to get anything, you guys can save 20% off on your entire order by using the code McGrathFish. All right, let's break this down and actually get into what we're actually doing. So I don't want to give too much away. I feel like when I do an intro, like I give a little bit too much away, but you guys obviously know the gist of it from the title and also just from the thumbnail. This series is going to be pretty badass the target species is definitely gonna be the walleye i get the walleye hunter on and then the shirt right here that is gonna be like the number one target species also perch and pike but again i don't want to ruin it i don't want to get anything we're just gonna, gonna roll this series and start from there so it is 10 30 at night right now it is today's thursday the 7th we are going to be leaving at like 12 31 in the morning to drive seven hours all the way to Mille Lacs, minnesota so we got a seven hour drive ahead of us me and trevor are going to split the drive i'm going to start out driving and then he's going to take over about halfway so then i can get some sleep as well guys this is going to be a series that i will never forget this is some bucket list stuff for me and i think it is for trevor too we we're talking about it a lot and just to do it with a good friend like trevor it's going to be pretty badass actually back in like 2018 trevor trevor hit me up there he is Trevor hit me up on Instagram and we knew of each other. I knew actually his older cousin through high school. And we so we knew of each other and he hit me up on Instagram like three years ago, pretty much asking to fish. And like, I didn't really know him at the time. We kind of like got in like to talking just like about fishing and we started fishing together. I think I filmed my... My second ever video, or no, maybe my third ever video on my channel is actually filmed with Trevor. So he's been around since day one, and to do a bucket list trip like this with him is gonna be pretty badass. So let's get a little word from Trevor real quick. I mean, exactly like Tommy said, I mean, three years ago we met and became friends and all that and fished all throughout the years. And now I'm super excited that Fall the Action is allowing us to go on this trip together. Mox is a bucket list lake for me. Um, and to go there with Tommy, hopefully slam some trophy walleye. Fingers crossed on that one. Um, it's gonna be a trip I'm never gonna forget. So I'm extremely thankful to Fall the Action and Tommy for inviting me on this trip, so. Check out that hoodie too, guys. Yes. Tre Trevor's already repping. <laughs> He's already repping. Basically when I say, ooh, there we go. So basically when I say, I kind of, explain too much sometimes my intros and i just want this series to kind of roll and i want you guys to figure out as pretty much how we're figuring out like as we go reels can be and i feel like this channel has became about taking very cool trips and taking guided trips with some of the best guys and that's like one of the main things i wanted to accomplish on this channel i feel like we've done it but there's just so much more that we can do and 2020 kind of got ruined but i feel like this is a great start to 2021 i mean january 8th start off the bat 2021 literally doing a bucket list lake, bucket list species that could be, well, I wanna say bucket list species, but through the ice, just catching a giant wall, I guess that's like bucket list stuff. So my biggest wall through the ice is honestly only about 21, 22 inches. So I feel like that could definitely be broken. My PB is 25 and a quarter. This is literally the longest intro ever, but I just kinda wanted to set the tone for the trip and just kinda give you guys a background story and let you guys know that, again, my channel is really about taking really cool trips. Thank you to follow the action and also taking guided trips as well. We're gonna roll this. You guys are gonna figure out what's going on as we figured out as what's going on. So for right now, we're gonna keep packing up our stuff Get ready and roll it. So guys, Trevor's fixing the beaver dam tip ups right now. And look what he's doing for the flag. He needs to replace a flag. Yeah, I found a pack of replacement flags and they have these weird, weird clips on there. So I'm just popping it through. Just get a nice bright orange stack up here. So and then- a Pirate sail ship. I know, and I got a little cap. So I'm just gonna pop all these through and put on the cap and we should be going 
I mean, if we can't see that, there's a serious problem. Yeah. All right, guys, so we have a ton of propane right here, two bloody heaters, a propane camp stove, like a little stove if we want to cook something on the ice. Um, we're bringing the, the air fryer. Trevor's two tip-offs, we got that. We have our checklist, a pair of boots, pair of boots over there, bibs, cutting board, towel, seasoning, a pan. We actually have a cast iron pan that is right there. We just bought that today. You guys will see that. So we got these crates, so then we have a bunch of chips in here. We have uh, Trevor's bananas. <laughs> uh, we got some, obviously, salsa, like condiments, stuff like that. Uh, we're going through a lot more stuff. We have literally everywhere and then we have a cooler we're gonna be cooking some fillets we got some breadsticks we got we have literally so much chicken in here we got like new, or, I was new York strips <laughs> chicken strips bagel dogs um what else did we even get bacon. we got bacon in there sausage we bought like the buffalo chicken we got uh the barbecue chicken the the mild or the buffalo chicken we're fully loaded there we're gonna finish loading this stuff up we literally gotta get this car packed and then we literally take off in about an hour hour and a half so we're gonna turn off this camera or maybe actually maybe i'll run a time lapse of this real quick Trevor, time check? It is 11.51 11. and we are all packed up, ready to go and uh, we'll be hitting the road in here in a few minutes, so. Check out the car, guys. It's an absolute pack to the rim. Work of art. <laughs> this kind of is a work of art. This is like some Picasso <laughs> All right, guys, 12.20 on the dot. We are gonna go hit the gas station real quick, grab some chocolate milk, some waters. I need to buy one of those like charger things that goes in like the cigarette lighter things to charge our phone. So this is it, seven hour drive. I will turn on the camera if anything exciting happens. And yeah, this is it. This is, this is, uh, go time. this is a charter. This is a Minnesota mission, guys. This is what we're gonna call this one, the Minnesota mission, uncharted territory. Hopefully we can overcome everything else and get it done. Here we go, guys. guys 349 we have three hours and 53 minutes left Trevor's gonna be taking over the driving from here and then we'll be there so we're gonna get there just in time to start fishing we're actually gonna be there a lot earlier than our check-in time that'll pretty much just give us time to get our winter gear on and pretty much prep ourselves and I'm really hoping we are able to drive the truck out in the ice to the spot because if not I don't know what the hell we're gonna do this car is fully loaded from the bed all the way inside everything so I'm gonna turn this light off so Trevor can drive and I will keep you guys updated once we get there. How are you feeling, bud? Feeling good. I'm ready to go. Got the bait. We're all set. Say that again. So we got the bait. We're all set to go. All right, guys. We have made it to Minnesota. We are about to drive out on the ice right now. We got our minnows. We got everything ready to go. My truck is fully packed, so we're gonna be following this guy right here. I'll show you guys that in a second. But Trevor's holding the minnows like his life depends on it. I don't know guys, I'm excited. I don't know what to expect. I will definitely give you guys a tour of like kind of where we were staying, kind of getting into that, but just want to keep you updated that we have made it to the big pond, is that all you guys call it. So I'm excited and I'm hoping that our first day turns out pretty well. I've heard the midday bite, so I was just talking to some guys that uh, work at the resort and they said that midday bite has been ass and the uh, overnight bite, so pretty much my hours, that's what I need, have been pretty solid. So I'm excited, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little nervous, but that's all my thoughts right now. I'm on no sleep. I really don't even know what to think. We just had to do so much stuff by gas. Guys, it's been, it's been one hell of a day. So all right, I will show you guys what, uh, right when we get on the ice. We are literally about to drive out in the ice. I've never done this with my truck. I've only taken a snowmobile, ATV, a UTV, and some other things. I gotta piss like a racehorse. Here we go. Overcorrect it if you can. I got it. We're good. <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> Trevor's getting splish splashed. Yeah. 
splish splash and I'm taking a bath. We out here. We out here. <laughs> Does it even feel like we're on ice? I know. We go we go through. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we forgot the boat. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, look how many houses are on here. I mean there's like there's like a neighborhood of ice houses. I can't even see that. A neighborhood. The White House. Or the White House. Some of these ice houses out here literally have like a satellite on top of their house for TV. I know ours is a TV, but I think we got that satellite though. This is insane, this White House. I would get so, imagine being in the middle of the lake trying to like get around right now, Tommy. I'd be so lost. Like what? Like that's, that's what we got out beyond us. Guys, that might just look like the camera's out of focus, but you just saw that house. You seriously can't see, like probably, I would say your vision's 50 yards. Yeah. Yeah, so not, not the place you wanna get lost out on. <laughs> 12 degrees. That is literally 12 degrees. Guys, I'm getting really, really excited. I was really tired kind of coming in here. We didn't do so many things. I mean, forgot a case of water, forgot to get gas, had to buy 40 to one mix. I mean, there was just so many things that we forgot and just like little things. Oh, that's our place right there. All right, we're about to turn on another little road. <laughs> no way, dude. <laughs> no way. Dude, you can see. Look at these holes, dude, the water's so clear. Oh my god, the Markham is gonna be insane. Dude, this is sick. All right, we're gonna start unloading everything. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I'm, I'm like in shock, jaw dropping. This is such a like a really nice ice castle and I don't know. I really don't even know what to say right now. I'm gonna just let it settle in. We're gonna start unloading, but this is pretty insane. So we'll kind of get into it and like give you guys a better tour of everything first, so. You now I don't even have a GoPro on nothing. I literally just dropped down to see my helix, and I literally already have a walleye right on me. He's right on me. That's a great. Oh, he's on you, Tommy. He's on me. It looks like it. Yeah, he's sitting right in the bottom. Right in the bottom. Yeah, he's coming up a little bit. He's coming up to Tommy's lure. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys like a real tour of this place in just a little bit, maybe towards the end of this video, but we have some active fish already, my first drop. I had two walleyes that really, really wanted it, and they're just kind of hovering over right now. So I'm gonna stop talking and get jigging right now because they're literally on my lure as we speak. I mean, they're right below me, and we got fish in this area. So this is good. this is really good so far. Fishing 14 feet of water. I'm gonna toss in the chest right now, and then throw you guys in there. Guys, I'm lost for words. Literally lost for words, but here we go. Here we go. Day numero uno, not even first 15 minutes it's literally what time is it like 9 10 or something <laughs> 9 10 do I have a whole school of perch on me okay so guys quick update before I grab the cannon these are actually perch on us so now that we got the underwater camera down all right so we figured out guys what is actually on our baits and this underwater camera is honestly gold so what I'm gonna do is put on a wax worm and see if I can catch one of these perch I can't really tell how big it looks uh, the cameras kind of far away and by far away I mean probably about three, four feet. So we're gonna find out. Maybe they'll hit this gold jig. 24 karat gold? 24 karat gold, bud. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Got him, first fish of the trip, boys. Baby perch, but we caught our first little wax fish. There we go. I should've put the underwater camera on. That was so sweet. <laughs> Ow. The on yeah, the whole thing. Whole, I said it because I saw him eat it. I didn't feel it. The first, the first fish. If we can hit perch during the day, maybe some nice ones, and then walleyes at night, I'm a happy guy because that's literally what the bite has, or that's what they've said it has been. I really need my sandals. Those are my good luck charm. Nice perch coming in. He's about to take it. Oh. Dude, we got it on footage. Does it still look clear? Well, I think me and Trevor are tied right now. Yep. His first perch of the trip. Alrighty, well, we are here. We made it. I think it's good time to give you guys a little tour. Trevor just caught his first perch. He just released it. So I'm actually gonna pop up the spot that we're fishing. I'm gonna have Trevor screen record it or I'm gonna actually pull it up on my laptop. Oh, Trevor's on again. 
Yeah, it doesn't feel ginormous, but I think it's another, another little perch. There he is, out of the chute. <laughs> I don't know, guys, I'm excited. Well, let's give you guys a little tour, so. So if you come out here, this is the whole thing. And then right when you walk in, bathroom. Um, here's one of the beds that drops down. We'll show you guys that later when we kind of set up. But I got the other camera here, pole here, fridge. We brought the air fryer, microwave, stove top, oven. That's my Helix. Come over here. We got a bunch more holes. We got rattle reels. And then this bed right here. So this one's up here. Obviously, it looks really high up there. And then if you hit this, this brings the bed down just like that. Got like a little table area. We got all of our stuff right here. We got our rods right there. Um, we got another hole here, another hole here. There's a rattle reel right there. We got a little stereo system. Got a little perch here. Trevor's got another perch. Oh my God. Down the hatch. This is it. The ice castle. This is pretty legit. I've never done this. So this is uh, new to me. We already have a five or six perch, a very, very baby perch, but Still fun, so I wanna show up there, I wanna pop up that, like kind of what we're fishing. We're actually on a really nice like sand rock bar, and there's some deeper water actually right behind me towards this way. So I think all the walleyes right now are deeper, so we're gonna go set a tip up out there in a little bit. And then at night, so we heard there's a night bite that's a lot better than all these walleyes from there. They're gonna move up in shallower water come night. And when I say shallower water, we're talking 14, 15 feet, maybe a little bit more shallow, but then we're going to be in a really, really good spot for the night bite. So, all right, that's pretty much it. I will uh, pick up the camera just a little bit. We might make some food and stuff like that. So I will definitely film everything we do. All right. All right, guys. So Justin's in here. He's giving us a rundown of everything, but we actually have, as we're talking, just shooting the shit. He's going to come back and fish with us possibly have a beer, but we got a rattle reel right now. So the line's twitching a little bit. So I think he's just moving his mouth. Give him a little. Pull a little, just a little bit out, go with some slack and see what happens there. Oh, he swiped you. Yep. He did drive by. Did he get the bait? No, but he injured it. Yeah. Think it was a walleye? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. Chewed up? Not too bad, but it, it stunned him. Yeah. Got them right here. I throw a fresh one on there. Alrighty. Take two of these things, tail hook them. Okay, and then you get them both? Get them both fighting each other and. That would cause them a ruckus? Causes a lot more ruckus and gets. So them, tail hook both of them? Yep, so they swim away from each other. They're constantly fighting each other. That's a smart idea. Yeah. So. Justin's full of, full of tips. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate all the advice and everything like that because. We never ice fished up in Minnesota or anything yeah, like that, yeah. and you know how I've like never Illinois fished in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Been in the state ever. Yeah, so that's a trick I've learned for a walleye bite. Sometimes I'll go up to as much as I'll put four of them on. And four? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then when you get a real aggressive bite, you get like six on a jigging and wrap, six full fatheads, and <laughs> see you whipping that bait ball. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Creates uh, a big bait ball. So. All right, guys, they just uh, they just stopped by to pretty much shoot the shit with us, give us some tips. I talked about before I was going to pop up that, uh, I'll pop up again as of right now, like kind of where we're at. We're really close to a break point. Uh, right now, we're kind of like almost on the flats, I guess you could say, of like 14, 15 feet. But then it drops off. There's about a hole that drops off to about 28, 29 feet. So that's actually right over there. You guys have no idea where the hell I'm pointing, but... That was, that was really good action right there. I was not expecting a rattle reel to go off at what time is it, Trevor? Like one something, the moon <gasps> phase. Guys, so did I talk about that in the video on the way up? I don't even remember. So on the way up, Trevor was talking to me about moon phases. We have no, there's a new moon in about four days, but also I like to talk, or I like to really fish times even for musky, small, it doesn't even matter what species. Moon rise and moon set. So moon rise today, I believe is at one. 136, I believe. Oh, it's 11.53. So, all right, I'm a little off, but the moon rise, moon set, very big into it. So that was definitely, definitely a walleye. No perch is gonna take that uh, fat head like that. So we'll see what happens here. All right, either we're gonna take a nap or keep fishing at this point, I have no idea. All right, guys, so again, we were just about to take a nap. We have this rattle reel set. Can't see shit, there we go. 
that rattle reel set, that one set, that one set, and that one set. So you can have two lines per person in Minnesota, and we're just gonna, and then this one started getting hit. That was the first one to get hit, but Justin explained that. Uh, Justin's actually gonna come back and fish with, uh, fish with us later. And then right when I set this one over here, this one started moving, and then right when Trevor dropped this one, this started moving, and, no, and these perch are not gonna be taken, these suckers, so. I'll come back to you if anything happens. See, the only thing, the only reason why I think it's like the minnow is because it's just like, the line is moving all around, but it's like twitching like very lightly, so that's why I feel like this is a minnow. But it did make noise, correct? Yes. So something must have spooked the minnow to make them move that hard. If I had to guess. So guys, what I have on this one, this one's a sucker, and I have it hooked like so perfect in the back where it's like barely hooked to the point where it's moving really well. Like you're not gonna be able to see this, but the, the fish is like swimming like an absolute like dead bait fish right now. It's so good down there. That is gonna do it for the first episode of the Minnesota Mission. Um, I kind of showed you guys like a little bit of tour, gave you guys like the whole nine yards, and just like the ice castle, how we're staying out in the ice, just kind of give you guys like the background. We did a little bit of fishing, we caught some small perch, but again, that was literally at like a 10 o'clock, 11. I don't really think we're gonna get walleyes that late in the morning, and I think the walleye bite really isn't that good in the day. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some sleep, wake up at about 3, 3.30, and then we're gonna be fishing pretty much all night, probably set some tip ups outside of the ice castle, expand a little bit and not just kind of sit in here. Not, we're not gonna wish for the fish to come to us, we're gonna go to them, so. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet again another episode. And I really think that the series is gonna pick up and tonight's gonna be a hot fight, so. You guys will see that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Two videos every single week. Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. And once again, thank you to Follow the Action for booking this amazing series. A bucketless lake, a bucketless trip to stay on the ice and literally a beautiful ice castle. So nice in here. So obviously we'll show you guys some more. But yeah, we are out. Trevor, any last words? Um, you know, they always say Moox is famous for the, the witching hours. People call it the hour before, before sunset where all the walleyes come up and just start actively feeding and out of nowhere, the bite goes from zero to absolutely crazy. That's what everyone says, that's what I've heard um, from people we've talked to, so we're running rest up and get ready for the, the big show. Did it, 3.30 bud, think about that, 3.30. All right guys, we get the Ninja Air Fryer, so what we're gonna do is pick up some of these crispy chicken strips. So we load this up like that, shove this in, Time, it said 11 to 12 minutes, so we're gonna go 12 and hit start. And that's it. We're gonna grab the ketchup out, buffalo heat, some honey mustard. We also got tartar sauce, but that's only if we get into the walleyes. So before the nightly festivities, the walleye began, we got some chicken strips, buffalo sauce, honey mustard, ketchup. We're fully loaded. This thing, key. So before we get jigging, we're actually going to set one tip up deeper because it's a little bit early. So before we start jigging, we're going to set one tip up just to see they're deeper. Go ahead and check the depth first. This hole right here is 16 and a half feet. The one over there is 18. We're going to put a tip up here and a tip up there. And we got two rattle reels in there. So two lines per person. The reason why we're coming all the way. So that's our house right there. And the only reason that we're coming all the way out here is this is a deeper water and as dusk and night pushes in all the walleyes are going to be moving towards our house they knew that this whole youtube thing like this is why i was coming here so they put our house in one of the best spots and they've caught a lot of fish here so far it's only been out for five days and they've already caught a shit ton of walleyes but the bite is between like anywhere from 4 p.m all the way to 5 6 a.m early morning stuff so hopefully we can get it done i'm gonna put one more tip up here but who knows how long this was up, dude? We were eating. All right, guys, I'm in shorts and boots. I feel like <laughs> Billy Madison, but we got a flag up. <gasps> it's spinning here. Here, it's angle. spinning. You got it. You got it. Climb him. I got him. I got him. 
me up went in or he got it. I'm feeling like a wire or a pike. Feels like a wire to me. Is he taking like Yeah. Is he like digging more? Yeah. Here we go guys. This is fighting pretty good. I'm gonna dog him. Or not dog him, I'm just gonna fight him really slow. Yeah. Oh he's me. fighting he's fighting good. We're literally eating chicken. You see him? <gasps> Dude, it's a nice one. Mm. He broke the line and I still got him. There it is, guys. My about. first Malax walleye ever, right here. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Guys, we're gonna run back. To, to measure, we didn't bring anything out here, but this is my first Mille Lacs walleye. Fought really good. I'm gonna guess. I don't know, dude, that's a good one here. Let's run back to our... Look, 21 on the dot, our first slot fish. We're keeping, this is worth keeping. That's a nice healthy fish right there. First walleye of the trip. Oh my God, guys. I literally ran out there in shorts, boots untied. I'm freezing, my hands are freezing. This was 21 inches on the dot. Our first slot fish, great eater fish. Great eater too. Let's just get one more measure. Just a hair over 21 and that is in the slot. A beautiful walleye. My first ever Mille Lacs walleye, guys. Our first slot fish, my first Mille Lacs walleye on the tip of this is on a sucker. This, this one we got actually out of 16 and a half feet. We put our tip us way out over there. Trevor's been jigging. I took up all the rattle reels besides one. I had one tip up out there. So that was the only thing I was doing. I was cooking food, eating chicken. Looked out this window literally right here. Our first slot fish. So I'm gonna grab a picture of this one. This could be the start of the night bite. Right now it is 3.32. So guys, we're going into that actual sunset. Sunset's at 4.44 or 4.45, something like that. There it is. My first Mille Lacs walleye. Beautiful. Beauty, absolutely beauty. Oh my God, it feels so good. We're gonna go bleed out that walleye, but until then, he broke my hook at the hole. So like, he was at the hole and I had him like, by the gills, but he like made a move and I lost him. And I made the mistake by pulling the line a little bit and it snapped the line. I think it's good. No, 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 I have a watermark. Oh, okay. And it snapped the line and I literally just reached my hands in there and threw him on the ice. First ever Malax walleye, guys, I'm so pumped up. We're on no hours of sleep. It's only 3.30 we got our first walleye. That's a very good sign. So guys, like our prediction pretty much has been spot on. Coming from the deeper over there, this is about 16. 16, actually, yeah, 15 and a half. Right at that transition 15 point. to 16, so yeah, it's like right at the transi transition, the break, and they're all gonna be moving that way. So towards dark, our uh, ice castle should be pretty good, guys. Oh my God, guys, I don't even know what to think right now. My first ever Mille Lacs wall, I did not think it was gonna come at 3.30. I truly thought it was gonna be like a 6 to 8 p.m. was the first wall between me and Trevor. I'm eating chicken, I look out the window, I see a flag up, and I try to see if it was spinning, couldn't tell, and as I was running, when I got over here, it was not spinning at all, and then once we got to it, it started moving again, set the hook. 21, probably 21 and an eighth, so the slot limit on Mille Lacs is 21 to 23, and ours was like 21 and 1 16th to 21 to 1 eighth, so something through there. So it's a legal fish. We measured it actually three times. Feel pretty good about it. So we're gonna bleed that fish out, flay it up. What an absolute start. Can't believe I did it. Trevor's grabbing a minnow right now. We're gonna get back into this hole. So I'm gonna take this treble, hook it right in front of the dorsal fin. Barely hooked, so it's got full movement on the minnow. I'm gonna slide my sinker up just a little bit. I gotta repinch this. So I'm just gonna lower it down using my ice 35, kind of figure out where it's gonna go. Trevor's gonna get next flag though, for sure. First walleye, feel good about it. Me and Trevor are a team. And he's getting the next one. This is a team effort out here. Exactly. It was awesome to see that first one coming through the ice and it's only a sign of good things to come, hopefully. No 
doubt, no doubt. This thing is super frozen. This thing's been sitting here a while. All right, so I had my minnow set. We're at literally 15 to 15 and a half feet. And I had it set about a foot to a foot and a half off the bottom. Just a sucker, treble hook. And so my, hands are, my hands are sticking to the tip up. <laughs> Temperature's dropping and the bite's heating up. All right, we're set. I'm freezing, let's go in. Here we go. This is 21 and like 1 8th, 1 16th, just a hair over 21 inches and the slot limit on the lax is 21 to 23. So I'm going to fillet this fish up. And yes, I know this knife is too big. Run the time lapse. All right, guys, just when we set that, uh, we set some more flags, had it right by us instead. So just Trevor was jigging, and then we have two tip ups actually right in front of us, and that one way far out that actually caught us our first fish is actually up again. So we're gonna go to that. Trevor's gonna get this one, we're gonna give it a little trot. See, this is why we don't pull this one. Trevor's got the walleye hoodie on. Just changed it. All right, guys, this is our second flag up. I believe is, what time is it? 5.05. 5.05, still on absolutely no sleep. Since no, like 9 a.m. yesterday. And the more and more the night goes on, I think this is bite's gonna get better. So this is our farthest tip up. We were actually talking just about, we were talking about pulling it, and then I looked out the window and I saw it's up, so. I'm gonna give it a little check here. Pull slow because of that. Yeah, pull some out, pull some out, keep going. Yeah, he's on there. So here, go like this, go like this. Okay, ready? Can you set him? Um, see if you feel him. He's not picking it up. I'd go for the set. Yeah, he's Go there, ahead. he's there. Got him. Let him run, let him run, remember. He's on. Trevor's on, guys. First wall of the day for Trevor. Second flag up. Can you grab him, Tommy? Yep, yep. Thank you. He's Get some of this ice out of this hole. Let him run. He's gonna. He's, he's gonna want to take off right at the hole. Yep. Good job. Yeah, dude. You ain't no rookie. <laughs> you ain't no rookie. Our first rodeo. Yeah, he's digging like a wall. Eh? Yeah, this is our hot hole. This is definitely our hot hole right here. So guys, they're moving, they're moving in. They're starting they're to move towards us, too. All right, Tommy's coming up. Does it feel like pretty good? I can't tell. Yep, it's a walleye. Yeah, I'm almost certain. Decent one. You got Not it. a giant, but it's a good one. There we go. That's definitely undersized. All right, guys, I'm gonna sacrifice my hands and hold this fish in the water. I don't want his eyes to freeze. It's super cold out. I think it's like nine degrees right now. So I'm gonna hold this fish in the water. My hands are gonna literally be Frosty the Snowman, Jack Frost bullshit. Trevor's gotta hurry. I'd guess this walleye, I'd say 17, 18 inches. 17, 18 inches, another nice walleye. So, Trevor's first of the day. We'll get a word from Trevor in a second. I'm sacrificing my hands for you, bud. Thank you. And this walleye. I don't want his eyes to freeze. There you go. All right, five o'clock. First. Second walleye. First Milox walleye for me. Second one of the evening. Same tip up, same spot. We got a nice deep hole here, and they're all just moving up. Gonna get a quick picture with this guy. Drop it back in and get warm. <laughs> Slide her back down the street. She she kicked right away too. All right. Alrighty, guys. So we got two walleye so far. We pulled the tip ups. Actually, we still have one out, and then. I'm jigging, Trevor's jigging. We kind of just said, screw the fourth line. So um, I definitely think we're getting tired. Well, I'll speak for myself, at least I am. And it's 6.06 right now. So to get those two walleyes kind of like before the hot window, which I would say the hot window is pretty much gonna be from now all the way till eight, nine in the morning. So I'm sure we'll sleep here and there, kind of wake up, set some rattle reels while we're sleeping. But the first day, not too shabby. 21 and 1 8th or 1 16th, it was literally right, like right there. 
And then we said yours is about, I'd say 19. Yeah, something like 19, that. 20, so two nice walleyes, and mine and his first ever Black's walleye, so. Yeah. Wanna continue jigging, but yeah, I'm definitely falling out a little bit, so. I just got my rod sitting here. I'm jigging a Northland buckshot uh, tipped with the fat head, literally just like the fat head head. Yeah, so if anything happens, I'll turn on the camera. I got the chest off now. I just kind of need to relax for a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Are you actually getting something or? I marked something off the bottom real quick. I don't know what it is. I really haven't talked about like what we've actually been catching them on. Obviously, you guys can tell from the two tip ups, but we're using, I believe, those are 25 pound tip up line with eight pound leaders. I like using smaller leaders when it comes to the walleyes. If we're targeting pike, 50 pound tip up line with 20 to 25 pound fluorocarbon leaders. So two fish, both off the tip ups, um, none jigging so far. The only thing that we caught jigging is a few small perch. Hopefully that will change. But again, even if we pass out for a little bit, those rattle reels will be set, lights will go on. So will the camera, lights, camera action. Yeah, it's three in the morning right now. I just woke up and we have a rattle reel. Trevor, I got it. Come on. Yeah. It doesn't feel huge. But it's a nice one. Do you need help? Yeah, you wanna help me land him? Yeah. Oh dude, he's fighting really good. Alright guys, literally three in the morning right now. And we have our third walleye on the Mille Lacs trip. I was literally just laying in bed. I went to bed at like probably 6.37. So this is definitely not a keeper. This is only about a 17 inch by 17 inch walleye. I'm gonna get a quick measurement. 17 and a half inches. So this is our actual first walleye in this shack. Again, I went to bed at like 6.30. <laughs> um, I just woke up a little bit ago, took a piss outside, was on my phone and I heard that rattle reel going. There it is, it's our first walleye in the rattle reel, first walleye in the shack, and our third walleye overall. So I'm gonna pop this hook and get a nice release for this guy. It's hard to wake you up. Very good. Alright, one last look before I throw it back, 17 and a half inches. Um, not a keeper. That's a great call actually. Let me throw a hat on so I don't look like I just just squirrel. Well guys went in Rome, at least gonna get a picture of this one. Three in the morning, and we got a wall in the rattle reel. Going back in. <laughs> Alright guys, it is 6 in the morning. We have not had any action since that 3 a.m. walleye, um, the rattle reel. I've been up ever since. Trevor's pretty much just kind of getting ready to go. We need to catch up on some sleep. We had no sleep the night before, but now today's going to be a full day send. We also got some surprises. So I don't know how much you guys are gonna see in this video, but we're actually gonna go set up some tip-ups and start today off right. And one of the cool things about how we caught these walleyes, this was a spot like probably 75 to 100 yards away from our house and like we figured it'd be a good spot because it's in a little bit deeper water. And like the way the hump is, we're actually almost up on the hump and then back over there is a really steep drop off going to about 29 feet. So we're pretty much fishing the break of that. And it's pretty cool that we were able to get two walleyes off that. So our knowledge, what we put into that worked, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I think we're gonna start cooking up some breakfast. So before we start breakfast, we just set two tip-ups out there, and then we got two rattle reels in here. Those two tip-ups were in the hot zone yesterday, so we put two back over there, but we're gonna go actually, again, like I said, now we're just gonna make breakfast. We really need some food. We're dying for it. Yeah, bud. I'm feeling good. I'm um, very, very, very hungry. We had like four chicken strips, three chicken strips each yesterday for all of our meals, and we're up for 36 hours straight. So it definitely took took a little bit of a toll, but we're we're bouncing back. The bacon smell of it's bringing back life to me. So we're ready for a good day out there. I'm gonna give the official taste test of these sausages. <laughs> I think I make a pretty mean sausage. Oh, you okay? Dude, that was oh my, that was literally almost in my eye. 
All right, guys, we got some bacon, some sausages. The smoke detector just went off. <laughs> Thank you. Quality. Yeah. Nice and crispy. This is well needed food before a big day. Mm hmm. I really wish we had like some form of silverware. <laughs> I know. Guys, we forgot forks and knives. We have two fillets out there, steaks. I think we're gonna literally have to chop it and just like pick it like finger food. Good. These are really good. We had a two gallon thing of milk, but we forgot that too. We <laughs> got another really bacon piece. We have a ton of bacon, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep cooking it. Yeah, nothing better than monster and bacon in the morning. <laughs> At least it's a juice monster. Mm -hmm. You try sausage? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Very solid, like 8.6 out of 10. 8.6? Mm-hmm. Guys, I think one of the coolest things about like cooking food on the ice is literally we're in the middle of the lake cooking food, and like I think even the cooler part is, is when we start uh, cooking that one keeper walleye too. That's actually out in the cooler. Nothing better. Fishing, eating, drinking a monster. <laughs> what do you think is better, bacon or sausage? I always just look. I don't always love bacon bear and sausage, but they're both really good. So what was going through your head this morning when I woke you up and we had a rattle reel? <laughs> I honestly didn't think there was going to be a fish on it, to be honest. Like, you didn't? No, because a lot of them had got like, messed with before. That one's in hell, too. I'm watching your story right now. Don't forget to follow me at McGrath Fishing, guys. Live updates all the time for the trips, cooking, random giveaways. I don't know when you guys will see this, but if this comes out before January 29th, don't forget to enter the big giveaway. $1,500 worth of stuff, including $200 cash, $75 Bass Pro Shop, two GoPros. <gasps> yo, 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 we got to grab it, Trevor. Let it run, let it run while we're cooking. Yeah, he's on, he's on. Ready? Set that thing. Got him? Yeah. Trevor's on. Nice. While we're cooking the sausages, we're gonna end this video right after this too. And one last fish. Ooh. You need help grabbing him? Oh uh, yeah, if you feel the tummy. He's actually a decent size. Yeah? He's not ginormous, but he's definitely a healthy fish. <gasps> Guys, this is a really nice fish. Really nice walleye. This is a rattle reel that went up two at three in the morning. This exact one. He wants to go. Can you, help, can you get that extra one out the way? Go to your right, back right. Yep. Dude, that's a really nice fish, Trevor. That's a keeper. Can you help me get him? Yep. You ready? Oh, he's not ready. He's on that other tip of line. So one of these. Four. He's on something. Yep. Yep. Just play it smooth. He's coming up, Tommy. He's coming up. Not as big as I thought, but definitely a great keeper fish, dude. Dude, look how fat he is. Here it is, guys. The fourth walleye of the trip. That's a good one. Let's get a measurement. Was not, guys, I was not expecting a, a rattle reel to go up right now. What is it? 21 inches solidly. Solid 21 incher? Yeah. All right, guys, so that's 21 inches on the dot. That is another keeper. So, Trevor, you want to keep that one? I say we do. All righty. Nice, it. dude. <laughs> That's your best wall of the trip, the last yes. walleye, right? Yes, sir. So Trevor's walleye yesterday was probably 18, 19 inches looking at that one now. Nice, dude. Way to go. Beautiful fish. Absolute beautiful fish, dude. Yes. How do you feel, bud? I feel great. This is a, a stud walleye, and to get him on the rattle reel like that was a ton of fun. We are literally sitting here cooking breakfast, and we nail him. So hopefully that's a sign of good things to come. Um, uh, quick time check. Look on that right there. 8.53. 8.53 is our first fish of the day. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to actually get ready. We're going to take a few pictures, and then we're going to save that one. We'll get back to you on this. But we got to fix all Like, that flags up because he swam in that line. It's, it's a shit show in here, so. Thanks for the help landing him, Tommy. I got you. Nice fish, dude.
This whole series is sponsored by Follow the Action Outdoors. They're an outdoor apparel company that literally covers you from fishing to hunting. They got some awesome badass designs. They're all hand-drawn custom. Go on followtheaction.com, check it out. Guys, I really think that you guys are really gonna like their designs, and if you don't, then you don't, but just give it a treat out. So all my merch will be available in February on followtheaction.com in its own tab in McGrath Fishing. If you guys wanna get anything on followtheaction.com, be sure to use promo code McGrathFish to save 20% off on your entire order, or you can use Trevor's. T-Dog 20. And that's T-Dog 20, T-D-O-G 20, to save 20% off on your entire order. So thank you guys so much for yet again tuning in. Here we go, day number two, let's do it. All right, guys, we gotta get ready. Justin is going to, Justin who, uh, at the resort, the guide, is gonna come get us here, and then we're gonna drive back to the resort and then take some snowmobiles out, so we gotta get ready. All right, guys, I am actually vlogging on the GoPro right now because I'm leaving the camera back. I seriously have no room in my camera bag. We're gonna be getting on some snowmobiles and the amount of gear we have, it just really doesn't make sense. So I left it back, but I'm gonna do my best to record everything that we can. Big shout out to McCoy's Inn. I'm gonna leave all their stuff in the description below. Uh, they're literally taking us out for free, giving us a snowmobile, and they're just gonna show us around and hopefully to put us on some fish. So definitely a nice little change up. I'm looking forward to this. And as long as we can catch some fish or even just kind of the experience, Snowmobiling around Mille Lacs Lake is a giant ass lake, so just venture out, kind of explore some new water, new ice is going to be a pretty good experience. So, hopefully, we do well. I'm looking forward to it, and I will keep you guys updated the best I can and try and film as much as I can, too. So, although we'll be having the chest on, I do have four more GoPros in my camera bag, so we should have no problem. We should be. Guys, we're gonna start checking holes. We're being guided, but we can still do our part. We still know what we're doing. All right, guys, back back on the stupid GoPro, but left the cannon at home. Uh, we traveled about 12 miles to get to about six, seven miles. We're super far out. Um, I kind of pop up what Trevor screen recorded for me of just like kind of where we're at, not like the exact spot, just how far we actually traveled. So I'm looking forward to it. We're in about 28 to about 30 feet of water. Um, the walleyes will definitely be deeper midday. I think, uh, what time is it? 12.45, so 12.45, Justin said. Uh, big shout out to him, he's guiding. So if you guys ever book at McCoy's, talk to Justin. Hi, right, Justin, and mostly is this a walleye spot? Yeah, predominantly walleye, you'll get a few jumbos that cruise through here, but. Okay. Guys, that ride was pretty wild because like as we're coming out here, there's just giant heaves. I mean, I saw some like ice sticking out that had to be four, five feet, six feet in the air. I mean, if you're ripping on a snowmobile and you have no idea what you're doing, you're gonna go flying especially if you hit the end that's not like a ramp you're gonna take that right in the mouth so <laughs> all right we're gonna start jigging maybe get a tip up in see how it goes kind of wish i brought the cannon now because it's just a little bit better quality but you guys will kind of get the point when we're out here 
All right, one tip-up set here. I got a pretty big sucker on that one. Trevor set one over there. Justin is jigging. I'm gonna get my helix set up in one of these holes and I'm gonna start jigging myself. Look guys, I got a fish on me right now. He's there. Come on, fish. Oh, yep, he's still there. He's right there. All right, so Justin just had one. He thought it was actually a pretty nice one. It came off. All right, guys, so I downsized to a 16th ounce. I think, yeah, 16th ounce for the minnow head. All right guys, spot number two. Uh, we're in shallower water now, we're in 16 feet of water. It is 331, I got a walleye right on me. We actually set up the shack this time too. Come on, take it you f Got him chasing it up. All right, we're back. We're gonna start uh, setting tip up lines and also get the rattle reels in. Unfortunately, we have no fish, for, or we, we caught no fish with uh, Justin. He did a good job, so big shout out to Justin. He's actually gonna come by and fish with us in here in a little bit, but we're gonna actually cook up some of the walleye. We're starving, and then we're actually gonna flay that other one, so. That's how fishing goes. You can't catch them all the time. Hopefully, we can have a successful night tonight, so. All uh, right, we are going to flay that other walleye and then get the pan with some nice butter in there. All right, guys, we're gonna flay up this walleye. Oh, uh, this is Trevor's from this morning, right? Yep. We're gonna make a nice cut right behind this pectoral fin. Do a small cut just to get it started right down the belly. I know this knife is too big, trust me. I'm gonna run my knife right down his spine, just like making small cuts. Trevor just gave me an actual knife that sharp. And once you get to this ass fit right here. All the way out. And then what I like to do is literally just run my blade right down his bones. You will save the most meat by doing this. No dude, he's actually pretty thick. Perfect. That's beautiful. Perfect slab of meat. Guys, we're gonna melt this butter. All right, the butter's done. I'm literally gonna take this Tony's, coat the pan, not too heavy, but decent amount. All right, so this is actually Trevor's. This is a fresher filet. We actually got two more, but it's got a little frozen outside, so we're gonna cook these first and then cook the other two. So the white's starting to come up on these, so what I'm gonna do is take it, flip it, take it, flip it. There is seriously nothing better than fresh walleye. This is gonna be so good. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Um, hopefully we can catch some more fish tonight. But for right now, I'm gonna slam these four fillets. The first two, and I'm gonna cook my two that are uh, thawing. We'll be eating good. This is the last day, guys. The last of Mohicans. We'll probably try and step as late as we can. Jig, rattle reels, tip ups, everything we can do. Done. All right, one of the first bites. Mm. 
Literally amazing as always. All right, Trevor's going in for the first bite, guys. Yes. Nice and relax enough. while I catch and cook. That is, that's phenomenal. What it's do you like, think? Because the walleye meat's like so flaky and light, and then just got that like hint of Cajun in it. It's like the perfect aftertaste. It's, it's beautiful. 10 out of 10. There it is. You guys heard it. Guys, nothing better than literally eating fresh walleye on the ice in the ice castle. We're not gonna end this video just yet. We're gonna cook the rest of this stuff and then we're gonna see if we get any more fish and we'll tune you guys in for that as well. So for right now, we're gonna go set some tip ups and get ready. Watch this, ready? Ready? I'm just gonna let it go. It's on, it's on, you take it. No, you take no, it. No, you take it, you're taking it. Okay, he's moving around it in his mouth. See, here's gonna stop, but this is what both of them did. We got a fish on, possibly. Yeah, lift up slow, lift up slow. Do you feel tension? No. No, that I don't feel any tension. There's no yo, yo, keep lifting up. I'm pretty sure there's tension. You got one? What the hell? You did that. <laughs> you son of a gun. <laughs> you caught a giant, dude. Tommy? Not cool. <laughs> Guys, I really, I really wanted to do that at least one of these times this trip. And he was, I told him to mess with, the Bluetooth's not working though. We have like surround sound speakers. So I was like, Trevor, you gotta figure out the Bluetooth. And I'm over there trying to, trying to get that can to sing without falling off because I didn't want to litter. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> what do you think? You just made me depressed, Tommy. I had my hopes up so high. Then I pull it up and then my mind flashes back to you saying you're gonna prank me this trip. I'm not gonna know when, but. <laughs> That was brutal. We've been grinding for these walleyes out here, and I see Tommy drop down the line, and that thing just peel off. I'm like, shoot, he's got it. You know, the walleyes this trip, they've been grabbing it, running with it a little bit, and then just kind of sitting and eating it. <laughs> and so I'm like, that's 100% got to be a fish. And I set into it, pulled up, and it's a sprite can. I mean, <laughs> talk about heartbreak. That that one hurts. All right, so no flags, but guys, we're going to give it our absolute all. This is our last night here. We probably have, realistically, we probably have exactly 12, 13 hours left to fish. So we are going to stay up as late as we can. We got our guide from earlier today coming over to fish with us. He works with uh, McCoy's Inn. Again, I'll leave all their stuff below, but... I'm hoping we can get a few more fish. Again, our rattle reel, we had two or three hits in the middle of the night and one landed fish. So pretty much from here all the way until about three to nine in the morning, pretty much the whole way through until we about leave, we have a really good chance of hitting more. So if we can hit more, that's gonna be solid. But one thing we are gonna do in this video, we're actually gonna do a double catch and cook. We have more walleye meat that we have not fried up yet, but uh, Justin's gonna come over and he's gonna be the true judge. He's never had butter cajun in my recipe so i want him to give you his opinion so we're gonna find out about that all right guys so we got justin here now he's the one who is guiding us today Oop, out of focus i'm gonna cook up the walleye that we have actually left over and i want him to try the recipe so trevor liked it obviously i like it. i make it all the time so we're gonna fire up this walleye and see what justin's true opinion is about this you've never had the cajun no never had this style so i'm waiting to try it so how do you normally cook your fish uh, depends. Sometimes I'll do a beer batter. Sometimes I'll do uh, just a butter, garlic, salt, and pepper with a little red pepper on top. Alrighty, so you never had the Cajun though? No, never had the Cajun. Alright guys, it's done. We're gonna get the opinion. All right, let's see if he's trying to poison me or not, guys. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty banging. You like that? Yeah, that's good. What would you rate it out of 10? I'd give it a 10. I would make it myself. For real? Yep. Trevor? 
I think the key is to half a stick of butter he put in there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> half That's a stick key. of butter for two fillets. Well, guys, this is it. The last of Mohicans. We are literally about to leave. I'm going to do one last drone flight because the fog cleared up a little bit. So hopefully this shot turns out. But this is it. Our final time in the ice castle up in Mille Lacs, Minnesota. I'm going to try and come back up here at least one more time. But if I don't get up here for ice, it'll be spring. So I'll give you guys my official outro in just a little bit or when I get home, kind of depends on the drive. So let's roll a little bit of B-roll and I'll see you guys in a sec. This morning we realized that we had a headlight out. We just figured, I was like, I'm just gonna get it fixed tomorrow. We gotta get back. And 40 minutes away from home, we made it six and a half hours and now we get pulled over. But the cop's super cool. Um, I don't think we're gonna get a ticket, I, at least I hope. But I guess the trip's not over till it's over, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will give you guys the official outro in just a few short moments, right when this camera comes back on. We're back, we're done, hell of a trip. Big thank you to follow the action for booking and sponsoring this entire series. I cannot be any more grateful and appreciative to be able to do this for a full-time job. They are an outdoor apparel company that literally covers you from fishing to hunting. They got the most coolest, badass designs, all hand-drawn, custom, and designed by the everyday outdoorsmen. So if you guys are into anything like that, go over to followtheaction.com. If you guys decide to get anything, be sure to use code McGrath Fish. I also want to say thank you to McCoy's. They made this trip really special by taking us out. They did not have to do that. Hooked it up with snowmobiles. If you guys want to do a trip just like this, be sure to go to McCoy'sInn.com. They are an awesome, awesome people there, and everything just went really well. Could we have caught more fish? Yes, but the thing that made me feel a little bit better about it is pretty much everyone we talked to was not doing too good at that time. So we were able to get two 21 inchers, a 17 and a half, and I believe like an 18 or something like that. The catch and cook was fun. Just staying on the ice. The 72 hour winter camping pretty much as in a nutshell, which is fun and definitely just an experience that I will never forget. Like it was, again, it sounds a little bit crazy, but truly a bucket list trip to do something like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next on this channel. We got Florida coming up February 28th for 10 days. I come back to Illinois for two weeks and then I shoot back down to Texas with the Nitro for another 10 days. So from here on out, we're going to be go, go, go. It's going to be nonstop trips. We're making up for 2020 and starting off 2021 with a banger just like this. And we're only going to lean into more. So that's about it. That's pretty much all I got. We got pulled over uh, right before we got home. That was interesting, but no tickets, nothing. But overall, had a good time with my buddy Trevor. If you guys want to do something like this, be sure to go to McCoysin.com. If you guys want to get any outdoor apparel, follow theaction.com. Please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Two videos every single week, Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 o'clock p.m. And we are, Kenzie, what are we? Hey, what are we? Hey. All right, sick.